As you know, power generation is really one of the key factors for development in many countries. Today, out of the installed base, which is around 5,800 gigawatts worldwide, coal remains, I would say, for many regions, the fuel of choice for the future. Since it became independent in 1957, Malaysia's economic record has been one of Asia's best with a GDP growth rate averaging 5.6% over the last three years. The country's electricity generating capacity increased by 25% between 2005 and 2011 and peak demand, estimated today at 16,500 megawatts, is expected to stand at 20,500 megawatts by 2020, according to utility TNB. In Malaysia, the biggest player on the electricity production market is naturally TNB. With them, the previous last important EPC project for Alstom was the Manjung 123 power plant, which is a 3 times 700 megawatt sub-critical power plant in operation since 2003. A successful construction of this Manjung 123 power plant and the good operation record afterward certainly played a great role in the decision to award in uh, March 2011 the Manjung 4 contract again to Alstom. Manjung 4 is a 1000 megawatt ultra supercritical coal fired power plant and it will be the first of this type and capacity in Southeast Asia. Under the terms and conditions of the contract, Alstom has to manufacture, engineer, procure, construct and commission the full power block, which includes an ultra supercritical boiler and steam turbine with a 1000 megawatt capacity generator. Austin will deliver all water steam cycle auxiliary equipment, fabric filters, a seawater flue gas desulfurization process, and a plant control system, including a simulator for the operator's training. Around 60 to 65 gigawatts of coal fire power stations are ordered every year, and two thirds of this volume is happening in Asia. Since a few decades, we have developed manufacturing capacities in Asia for boilers, steam turbines, generators, and so really we can respond and we can deliver equipment which are fulfilling our customer needs. The Manjung 4 boiler is a one-through vertical tube furnace wall, two fireball, two-pass design equipped with Alstom's unique TFS 2000 firing system, Alstom's low NOx tangential firing system that can burn a wide range of coal, either bituminous or sub-bituminous. The 1080 megawatt STF100 steam turbine features one high pressure, one intermediate pressure and two double flow low pressure turbines for high efficiency and reliability. Since Manjung 4 is designed to burn a wide range of coal qualities, Alstom will install its first 1000 megawatt fabric filter using its OptiPulse Pulse Jet Fabric Filter System. This filter is considered more reliable and can maintain performance irrespective of the coal type and source. Manjung 4's FGD system has been designed to treat the complete flue gas exiting the plant, which represents a significant advancement compared to the three existing units. The seawater flue gas desulfurization system has both low lifetime and maintenance costs, with SOX emission significantly lower than the current World Bank standards. The SWFGD process does not generate any byproducts, and the treated water that is returned to the sea presents only very small changes that satisfy the most stringent environmental standards. We are very proud in the trust that TNB invested in Alstom to embark together in this adventure that will make of Malaysia a showcase for the rest of the region. When you move from subcritical conditions, so with low steam parameters, to USC conditions, so ultra supercritical conditions like what we have in Manjung, you increase the efficiency by three to four percentage points. What does it mean in terms of CO2 emissions? They are reduced by four to five percent. So really a tremendous progress into this area. 
With all these environmental and economic advantages, Manjung 4 is another example of Alstom's capability to adapt to the market demand and to deliver integrated clean power solutions.